There comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their one true love, their soulmate, the person that's going to know and love them for the rest of their life. That moment came for George 25 years ago when he met me. <laughs> I guess I should introduce myself to those of you who don't know me. My name is Anthony. I'm George's younger brother. <laughs> to, by, to be asked today by George to be his best man is an honor for me, but it's also very honorable of him because he's finally admitting to each and every one of you that I truly am the best. <laughs> I would also like to say how beautiful most of you look tonight. Um, I'm, gl I'm glad to see that some of you actually made an effort. Um, but speaking of beautiful, our bride Nicole looks absolutely stunning. And it's clear to see how George has become so enchanted by her. Um, but to be honest, her beauty tonight is making George a little bit more handsome than he actually is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, for those of you that don't know, and it reminds those who do, growing up, George and I were polar opposites. He was smart and driven. I was the funny goofball. He was athletic. I was, and still am, incredibly good looking. <laughs> It is because of our different but distinct personalities that we did fight a lot. In fact, George was always so much bigger than me that my parents forbid him from hitting me when we got into fights. So I used to take advantage of that and I would torture him all the time. So I apologize for that after all these years. But we did have our good times. Playing with football in the backyard. Playing hockey out front with Jesse and Jamie. Or when we would turn the basement put up little obstacles and play American Gladiators with our Nerf guns. <laughs> it's uh, memories like these with my big brother that I know I'm never going to forget. High school is where I first met Nicole. I met her my freshman year because we were both a member of uh, the digital yearbook. And I remember instantly liking her simply for the fact that she didn't compare me to George like a lot of the upperclassmen and even some of the teachers had. And beyond that, she was just a good person. I, did, I felt like I could actually be myself around her and I didn't have to try to impress her. And I love you for that. <laughs> then I'll fast forward to college. I remember one year coming home. My parents and George were in the living room. I go and put my stuff down and then I realize someone else is in the room. It's Nicole. And it was at this point that I had found out the two of them had been dating and the first of many that I would find her sitting in my favorite couch, which I'll still get you back for. After George and I graduated college, we got closer. We still fought, but we hung out a lot more often as well. If Nicole and George were having a low-key night, maybe going to movies, going bowling, they'd invite me to tag along. And neither one of them ever made me feel like I was a third wheel. I remember one night, we went out to dinner, and we were driving around afterwards, and George laughing, smiling, having a great time. And at that moment, I knew Nicole was going to be around for the long haul. She made my brother happy in a way that I hadn't seen him smile like that in a while. I can honestly say, Nicole, that I think you just might be the reason why George and I are as close as we are now. Aww. The last four years, our relationship and our brotherhood got tighter. We do still fight. Of course, but for different reasons. We, love, we, we fight hard because we love harder. A few weeks ago, George, you and I were at the car wash, and we were talking about the wedding. And out of nowhere, you turned to me and you said, you know, I'm really glad you and I got so close. And I remember just looking at you, thinking that was kind of out of left field. But I said, you know, me, me too. And then you said something to me that I know I'm never going to forget. <laughs> You said, 
I just want to let you know that I'm always on your side. I am now, and I will always be your biggest fan. The truth of the matter is, I could say the same for you. Through thick and thin, good and bad, you're my big brother. I always look up to you and I've always admired you. And Nicole, I could not be any happier that you are now part of our family. Seeing the two of you together just looks complete. I wish you nothing but happiness, love, and success for the rest of your years. So now if you'll join me in raising a glass, to toast the happy couple, George and Nicole. Love is a force more impressive than any other because it is invisible. It cannot be seen, but it can transform you in a, transform you in a moment and offer you more joy than any material possession ever could. Congratulations. That's right, let's give Anthony a nice round of applause. And right now, we'd like to ask our lovely bride to escort her mother, Jerry, onto the dance.